name of the Impossible Project came from an original quote from Dr. Land, the inventor of instant photography of Polaroid, who said that a project was only worth doing if it was nearly impossible to do and manifestly important to do. There are many different components that are used to assemble the film. There is a negative, there is a positive sheet. They get married to a pod which has a developer fluid in it. And then there is a mask and a rail and some other components that are wrapped around that to hold those together. Those prints get assembled into a plastic cassette along with a spring and a battery. And then once you've got to that point, you've kind of got a finished film pack along with a dark slide that is put on top to keep the whole thing from seeing light until it's in the camera. Uh, and then all of that gets put into the final packaging. We're continuing to invest in making it more and more instant, making the colors better, but providing some special types of films in lower volumes that we can do that are kind of funky, uh, films that do some different things while they are developing. There's lots of creative things that we can do and there's lots of creative things that our customers like to do. One of the things that I think is really, really cool that the Impossible Project did uh, right at the beginning was to recognize that while there were tens of millions Polaroid cameras out in the world, how many of those are still in good working order? So one of the things that they wanted to do was to be able to sell cameras and we're in the process now of actually developing our own brand new camera which will be on the market 2016. There are about 50 chemical reactions that are taking place that make all of that work. That's what we are always working on, optimizing to make the product faster to develop, make the colors better, and make the improvements that we're working on. It's something that we're seeing a real love for, living side by side with digital, and, and not something that is being displaced by digital, but is making a strong comeback, much like vinyl records are, and, and many other forms of you know, things analog.